Hello, and welcome to Post Installation Tasks for Revit Architecture 2011. This course is intended to walk through the post installation tasks you may need to complete for Revit Architecture 2011. You will learn about the initial launch of Revit, the uninstallation, reinstallation process, and how to uninstall or reinstall add-ons. I want to cover the agenda for this session. We have three main topics we're going to be covering today. First, there is the initial launch of Revit Architecture 2011. This will cover the activation and registration process as well as the welcome screen. Second, we have the uninstall modify section. This will cover adding or removing features, a reinstall or repair, as well as a complete uninstall of the product. For additional information on the uninstall process, we have a technical solution available on Autodesk.com. Please see TS1463351. And third, the uninstalling add-ons portion. We will cover VBA, extensions, as well as uninstalling the three material libraries which are installed with the product. Section 1, the initial launch of Revit Architecture 2011. We're going to start by launching Revit Architecture 2011. If prompted to participate in the Customer Involvement Program, you can choose your response of yes, I would like to participate, or no thanks at this time. For Revit Architecture 2011 standalone licensing, you will need to activate your product. When first launching the product, you will be prompted to run or activate the product. Let's go through the activation process. To start, let's click the Activate button. In this example, the product has been successfully activated and we can click the Finish button. To activate your product at a later date, you can navigate to the Help pull-down, About, and click Product Information. Here, you will have an option to see the license agreement, as well as activate the product. At any point you can also register your product on Autodesk.com Revit Architecture register your product. Here you can log in to register your product or create a new user ID. In this example let's log in to register Revit Architecture 2011. After selecting the desired account and choosing Next, you will be on the Product Registration and Activation page. The next step is to enter the product's operating system. After that, enter the product serial number to continue. After entering the product serial number, click Next to move on to the next page. Here, we're going to enter the request code to activate the product. The request code can be pasted into the space below. If you do not have a request code, start the product. On the registration activation page, click activate. The request code is displayed at the top of the page and can be copied into the space. With the activation registration process complete, you will find yourself on the recent files page for Revit Architecture 2011. From here, you have access to create a new or open an existing project, family, conceptual mass, or access the web library, as well as having access to multiple resources for what's new, help, and videos. Section 2, Uninstall, Modify. You can install additional tools and utilities by either inserting the Revit Architecture 2011 product media 
or launching the setup exe file. Once loaded, you can choose Install Tools and Utilities to specify additional tools such as the Autodesk Network License Manager, CAD Manager Tools, Autodesk Asset Locator, SAM Report Lite, and the Revit Software Development Kit. All Revit Architecture 2011 required components are available in the support folder of either the product media or the downloaded extracted files. Here you can install or reinstall components such as Microsoft Visual Tools for Applications 2.0 which is available in the VSTA folder. Also Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable is available in the VCREDIST folder both 2005 and 2008 versions are available here. And lastly, Microsoft.NET 3.5 SP1 and previous .NET versions are available in the .NET FX folder. The content batch utility can be installed either from the disk media or the extracted download files in the utilities, Revit building, and if you launch the utilities.html, there is a link for the content batch utility. To access the reinstall, repair, as well as the uninstall option, navigate to the Windows control panel, add or remove programs. Here on the list, locate Autodesk Revit Architecture 2011. Choose Change, Remove. At the menu, you can choose to repair or reinstall the installation or uninstall the product from this computer. First, let's look at the repair or reinstall option. There are two options here to either repair or reinstall the installation. The first option, repair, restores Revit Architecture 2011 to the default state on the computer. All files modified from the default state will be updated. If you choose to reinstall Revit Architecture 2011, all files will be updated and the entire application will be reinstalled. At any point, we can click the back button to return to the main menu. Here, we can access the second option to uninstall the product from this computer. Please note, by clicking Next on this screen, Revit Architecture 2011 will be completely uninstalled from this computer. If performing a clean uninstall of Revit Architecture, we have a technical solution, TS1463313. The steps are as follows. First, ensure to disable all antivirus applications on the workstation prior to going through this process. Next, you want to uninstall Revit Architecture 2011. The next step is to manually delete the program files, Autodesk, specific Revit version. Next, delete the content folders and local settings folders on the workstation. The next step is to remove all registry entries specified in the above technical solution. When installing Revit, material libraries are also installed. You want to uninstall these three material libraries in the following order. First, uninstall the Autodesk Material Library 2011 Medium Image Library. Next, uninstall the Autodesk Material Library 2011 Base Image Library. And lastly, uninstall the Autodesk Material Library 2011. The last step is to restart the workstation and reinstall the product if necessary. Section 3, Uninstalling Add-ons. 
Revit Architecture 2011 add-ons and components will appear in the Windows Control Panel Add or Remove Programs list. For example, components such as Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 SP1, the Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributables, the Microsoft Visual Studio Tools for applications, both ENU and Runtime, as well as each version of the Revit extensions will appear in the Add or Remove Programs list. It is very important when uninstalling the Autodesk Revit Architecture 2011 material libraries that they be uninstalled in the order they appear in the Add or Remove Programs list. The order for uninstall is as follows. The first material library to uninstall is the Autodesk Material Library 2011. The second material library to uninstall is the Autodesk Material Library 2011 Base Image Library. The last material library to uninstall is the Autodesk Material Library 2011 Medium Image Library. After all three material libraries have been uninstalled from the workstation, you should restart the workstation.